Good afternoon, friends. Having spoken yesterday on the art of writing, I think I must today talk on the yet another aspect of writing in modern days, and that is the persuasive writing. More so in the world today at Nasser, in whichever institution or the company you're working with, there is a whole lot of everything depends upon sales and marketing. And there is an utmost need to know about persuasion writing in sale, in improving sales and marketing. So, what is persuasive writing? Persuasive, persuasive writing is a written form of an oral debate and can be a fun and interesting style of writing. Persuasive writing is used to convince or persuade a reader that the writer's opinion of a topic or a cause is correct, authentic and needed. When writing uh, persuasive essays, all students need to be well versed in word, words selection, framing logical arguments and creating a strong cohesive closing argument. You must understand why this persuasive writing is important or necessary. Persuasive writing can be a wonderful means of expressing views about the subject you are going to talk or write. It's a way to tap into what you are passionate about and gives an opportunity to do further research on the subject you are interested in conveying to your readers. This helps you to be more involved in your work in your subject. Engaging in persuasive writing also helps I mean, the students to improve skills such as different styles of writing, writing structure, doing further research and forming evidences and uh, evidence-based logical conclusions, opinions and arguments. And there's a very normal and uh, specific technique uh, for learning persuasive writing. Teachers can introduce this form of writing in the classroom by first teaching the fundamentals of persuasive writing. Teachers can persuade, provide examples of persuasive writing such as uh, ex excerpts uh, in debates or speeches to understand the in internal techniques they use when persuading an audience. Here, the audience are your writers. Teachers should also teach techniques they use when persuading uh, the uh, uh, students. The key elements and the format for writing a persuasive argu uh, uh, the argument. Such as I say always, uh, I say using persuasive words. These include words and phrases that are used for persuading the reader. Examples include for this reason because I believe as evidence shows, etc. etc. Have a list of these words and phrases displayed so that your uh, readers or your students can easily use them while writing persuasive essays. Including the learn the art of including the elements uh, of a persuasive writing uh, in your uh, write-ups. The entire writing is broken down in the basic uh, elements, as usual. I say, while even if we were delivering a speech or writing anything, into a three, an, an introduction. This is an opening statement or paragraph that clearly states the. Uh, position of the writer on a certain topic. Then you have the body. This forms the volume of the persuasion and includes an argument along with at least three evidences supporting each argument. And then ultimately you have conclusion. This is a strong and cohesive uh, summary restating the topic and position as well as summarizing all your arguments you have presented in the body. 
persuasive uh, writing assignments must be practiced before you get into the serious writing and the final writing. And for that, choose a topic. <clears throat> Once the basic elements of persuasive writings have been taught, identify a topic or create guidelines for students to choose their own topic. Allow, allow, uh, allowing them to choose their topic will help increase students' passion for arguing the case. Once you have chosen a topic, do requisite brainstorming. Give students time to brainstorm and think about the opinion on their subject before the research. The students can be given a persuasion, persuasion map even, a pictorial representation of the elements including evidences 1, 2, 3, with examples, facts or data and conclusion to organize their ideas before writing. Once the brains brainstorm, they should also be given an ample time to research their topic and gather information to support their opinion or arguments. And once you have chosen a topic, you have done enough research, brainstorm, then ultimately get down to writing. Write. Students can be given stages to complete their writing. For example, the first argument could be to create a persuasive map. The next assignment could be of creating an outline and so on. Once the final draft is finished, the student could be paired with a partner for a, a peer review, they call it. This gives students an opportunity to analyze another student's work while other also learning about another topic or issue. Persuasive writing uh, can therefore help the students to practice and ultimately uh, to become an effective persuasive writer. And now put the same template if you really want to, you're working somewhere, then you want to improve your sales and implement this technique of persuasive writing in marketing. Writing becomes persuasive when others are willing to act on or comment on on what you have written. Interestingly, people will write uh, uh, write to me and say on my write-ups I agree hundred percent few of them and while others will say I disagree hundred percent on the same article on the same write-up it just strikes people uh, different ways you get you you get it you, your goal is in persuasive writing is to strike a nerve but not to polarize in any case I wrote a very uh, controversial piece of uh, non-compete article uh, once. It brought hundreds of responses from all over. Personally, I am uh, against this non-compute uh, notes, clauses or articles. So are the 100% of the uh, uh, sales people who responded to the article. Their bosses, however, saw it different way. They were looking to place uh, golden handcuffs, protect their best interest and in short excise their uh, paranoia that a salesperson would run away to the competition and steal the company's valuable customers. And by the way, that's not persuasion. Getting someone to sign a non-compute clause is not persuasion. It is simply intimidation or manipulation. My friends, remember, persuasion comes from taking a stand and being adamant about it, proving points about it and asking questions about it to make the reader or listener think and act. Persuasive writing is also succinct. It gets to the point right away. It talks uh, uh, how, uh, how the other person is affected more than it talks about what you do. You can use many examples, but they have to be compelling and they have to make the reader shake their head. Yes, every day, almost every day I write on something or the other, maybe sometimes on sales, customer service, customer's loyalty or uh, personal development. At the bottom of the column, there is all, I always make sure to write and get additional information from all kinds of sources to authenticate my views and you improve further knowledge 
on the subject. My friends, remember, persuasive writing prevails when the reader makes a photocopy and gives it to someone else. Send an email with, hey, you got to read this, or is persuaded to take an action as a result of reading. Have you ever read a persuasive brochure sometime, a value-based brochure? If you have, it's been less than uh, one in a million chances. So think about everything you write in, uh, in terms of its impact, not just of the its information. Ask yourself, will this uh, compel someone to take action? If it doesn't, then you have to rewrite it until it does. Even something so simple as a, a self-test or getting someone's opinion will create actionable words and greater chance for a persuasion on a response to Akka. Test yourself, I say. Read all of your writing if you have received them in your mails. Would, uh, uh, would you keep them or throw them, uh, throw them away, simply delete them? If you saw them in print, would you read them and take action? Or would you just simply uh, skip them? Whatever you would do, it's likely that the people you seek to influence, the people you seek to persuade, will do the same of your writing. My friends, I love when, when people brag, you know, made the recycled paper or their brochure. Remember, if you want to pursue a writer, think value for your readers, for your uh, uh, audience. Create a brochure or a document that talks about a few ways to benefit from or some few ways to profit them or few ways to uh, produce more from whatever it is that you are uh, selling or talking about. That is a piece of literature that your uh, readers would likely to keep forever and act upon that. Thank you very much.